In order to set up ProfitNet communication with RCX3 series controller, you need a dedicated GSD file. You can download it from the following website. After that, install the GSD file in TIA portal. From the menu bar, select Option. Manage General Station Description Files to open the GSD file installation window. Select the folder where the GSD file is saved. Check the GSD file and click the Install button. After the installation is complete, click the close button. After installing the GSD file, set the network. In the project tree, select your project, here test 1, and click Devices and Network, to open the Network Settings screen. Register the Network Configuration on the Network View screen. Select the devices from the Hardware Catalog. In this example we will use the following devices. In the Hardware Catalog, Select the Siemens controller model. Next, select Yamaha Robot Controller RCX340. It can be found in the General subfolder under Other Field Devices and Profinet IO. On the Network View screen, drag and drop between the green square ports of the two devices. Select the PLC icon and open the Properties tab. Set the IP address. Check the device name automatically assigned here. Next, select the icon of the Yamaha Robot Controller and open the Properties tab. Set the IP address. Check the device name automatically assigned here. Select Robot Controller icon, then click the Device View tab to open the Interface Settings screen. In the Hardware Catalog, open the Input-Output folder, under the Module folder. Firstly select 16 words for slot 1, and then 16 bytes for slot 2. Please note that the click order determine the address number. Add 104 words as an option for slot 3. When SIOW extension is enabled in RCX3 controller. Now address setting is completed. Next, set tag table. In the project tree, select your project and open the PLC tags folder under the device name. Click Default Tag Table to open the Tag Table Settings screen. In Tag Table, you can give a tag name to the I.O. address number. Here we input SOW0 according to the I.O. profile of the RCX3 controller. Continue to input tag name and assign it to address number. This is an example of a tag table.
Here, we connect to the PLC online, and set the IP address and device name. Connect the PC and PLC with an Ethernet cable. Open the folder of your PC Ethernet board, under Online Access in the Project Tree. Then, double-click Update Accessible Devices to scan the devices on the network. The detected devices are displayed along with the MAC address information. Select Accessible Device and double-click Online and Diagnostics to open the settings screen. Select the functions, then input the IP address and device name that we set in the Chapter 2 network setting. Input the IP address and click Assign IP Address. Input the device name, and click Assign Name. Load the project file into the PLC. The project file contains all the setting information we've done so far. Firstly select the project file, here, test 1. From the menu bar, select online, and download the device to open the download window. Select the interface, here, PNIE1, and click, start search. After a connection is established, the line color changed to green and detected devices are displayed in the list. Select the target device and click the Load button to load the project file. After compiling, click the Load button again. After the download is complete, click the Finish button. Connect to the PLC online and check the Input Output Set and Tag table. With the device selected in the project tree, here PLC underscore 1, click the Go Online button on the toolbar. Select the Device Configuration under the Device folder in the project tree and click the Online Tools tab on the right edge of the screen. Click the Run button on the CPU Operator panel. Open the PLC Tags folder under the Device folder and open the tag table created in Chapter 3, Tag Table Settings. Here we open the tag table RCX3 underscore SO. You can check the signal from the robot controller by clicking the Monitor All button. That's all for the explanation. Thank you for watching.